verde, azul. That was an old SK language video and it shows how I made binders and I used that I used that kind of binder to teach my older children when they were younger and they did learn the words in the binder and I knew even more words than them. I knew a few thousand words. But the problem was that we didn't know how to put the words together in phrases. My reading was very laborious. And my listening comprehension wasn't too good either because I just wasn't used to Spanish in context. So now, recently, I've seen videos by Keeper of My Home and Seven and All showing the binders that they're using. And it inspired me to create a new kind of Spanish binder, um, SK Languages Spanish Binder 2.0, this time without words in lists to recite, without words in isolation but with words with lots of context. And I based my binder on songs that we already are familiar with and like, but we don't have memorized. So take a look. And it's great because it teaches you how to ask someone's name, how to say what your name is. It teaches what Santa Claus's name is in Spanish, and it teaches you how to spell out loud. And this song actually did help me spell things out loud when I was in a situation where I had to spell things to Spanish speakers. And this song is really fun. This was my fa my um, children's favorite part of the binder. And I got a great reaction when I took out my binder and used it. My children even insisted on looking at the binder in their free time and and they were saying little things in Spanish. So that's awesome. Look at him. Looking at a little binder. Next song. Brazos arriba. Muñecas juntas. Codos juntos. Rodillas juntas. La medusa, la medusa, la medusa, la medusa. We stood up and we sang the song and we did the moves. And it, it's such a fun way to pick up on the parts of the body. The next song only has two sentences in it, but it's really worth including in the binder because this song helped me learn the sounds of the vowels in Spanish and it helped me be able to read better and pronounce Spanish better. And I just like the song. I don't mind singing it every single day and my little ones like it too. I'd like you to check it out right now. And I do have links in the description box. Oh, oso, oh, oreja, uh, uva, uh, uno. A, E, I, O, U, que fácil es cantar. This is my little one in her free time oh, trying to say oso. words in Spanish. Oh, oreja, u. prayer um, based on a YouTube song and it's going to really come in handy if we ever get back to Spanish speaking church and we're expected to pray silently um, we can do it in Spanish or English um, the next song I have in my binder is cool because it it has a little bit different grammar than most of the things that we listen to and it has some interesting vocabulary I don't point out these things to the children I just open the binder and I start to sing Spanish is caught, not taught. And at the end of my binder, I have a song about a little boat and a song about, um, do you like this kind of food? No, I don't like it. Yeah, ew. And those two songs, um, I'm not too comfortable singing, so I need to learn them better. So don't be like me. Include songs that you're comfortable with. And that's my Spanish, Spanish binder 2.0. 
full of phrases. You don't have to make it just like mine if you make one. Um, you can use your own songs that you like. Just listen to simple songs, write down lyrics to your favorites, and illustrate the lyrics. Put them in page protectors in a binder so that they stay nice for more than a couple of days. Your time is precious, so if you take your time to make something for your kids, it should last. And don't overthink what songs to include. Um, everything is educational for a preschooler. So whatever songs you pick, I'm sure they're going to have some vocabulary and some grammar structure that's going to help you out in learning Spanish. I don't think that this alone is going to get us fluent, but it's certainly a big help and it's really fun. I think you're going to like it and your kids are going to like it and it's going to help you learn those phrases that you're going to really rely on. So thank you for watching. And thank you to Seven and All and Keeper of My Home for the inspiration. Bye.